Can you tell the difference between these three shots? Hey guys, welcome to another Earn Dog Golf video. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how this $500 device, a Garmin R10, is absolutely transforming my golf game. I am in no way sponsored by Garmin. I paid for this product on my own. I've had it for about two months now. I think it's been out in the market for about a year. So I want to first show you guys why I think having these numbers accessible is super important for your golf game and your practice sessions. So if we go back to the first three swings from the intro to this video and merge them together, let's see how creepily similar they look. And exactly how similar they looked is how similar they felt too. Yet they produced three very different shots. So that's why I think it's so important to have these numbers because an out to end club path of one or two degrees is very, very similar and feels very, very similar to an even club path or even a one degree or two degree into out club path. So if you've been following along my journey, you know that I took the absolute best golf lesson that I've ever taken in my life where my golf coach, Zach, essentially teaches me how to hit a push draw by learning the relationship between the club path and the club face. In that lesson, I gained like 15 yards of carry with my six iron, which is it's absolutely insane. But I was very concerned that I was not gonna be able to reproduce that because I didn't have a $15,000 track man spitting out these degree numbers at me. So I brought this up to Zach and he told me that he had tested a Garmin R10 and it was very, very similar to a track man. I did a ton of research and I quickly found that it very much was the case that for a $500 device, it was giving you very, very accurate numbers. And then if you pair it with the Awesome Golf app, it provides even more accurate numbers and not just that, but gives you a really, really nice layout to kind of absorb and analyze all the content that the Garmin has for you. And what I want to show you guys now is how I used this app and the Garmin R10 to really calibrate my swing in the middle of a practice session. So for this week's video, I was actually hoping to do sort of like a carry distances video where I show you guys every single one of my distances for every single one of my clubs. But as soon as I started swinging the club, I realized that I just, it, I was off. Like I, I wasn't hitting the ball as clean as I normally do. And I felt like my yardages were 10 to 15 yards off. So I finished off that video, but I wasn't very satisfied. So I decided to go into the coaching mode of, of the Awesome Golf app to kind of try to figure out what may be happening with my swing. And I quickly found that even the shots that I felt the best about, I was just straight up pulling. Like I thought I was drawing though, but in reality I was coming out to in like two degrees. So I decided to kind of do this little drill that, I, that Zach had me work on. And you guys saw this in the driver video where I learned how to hit a draw with a driver. But essentially what I'm trying to do is point my bag to the target for as long as I possibly can, and then try to start my downswing with my arms to give me more space in the downswing to come in from the inside. Wow, that was a freaking mouthful. So I did this for about three minutes and then I would try to do it before every swing. And I started consistently coming in from the inside. And you'll notice too, that as I come in from the inside more, so as that angle increases, my carry yardage was also increasing with my eight iron. And this is because I'm swinging the club a lot more efficiently. I'm not losing all that speed up top. And instead I am creating that speed down at the bottom at impact and launching the ball a lot faster and therefore creating more distance. So I think it's pretty fascinating that within about 30 shots and like, I think it was something like an hour of my time, I was able to produce completely different shots with my eight iron. So the first four swings produced like 130 yards of carry. And then on average, I think I was coming over the top like three degrees. By the end of it, so looking at my last 15 shots, I was coming in from the inside about one degree and it was generating 15 yards more of carry with my eight iron, which is just absolutely bonk. So yeah, that pretty much does it for this video. I know this is a little bit different of a video. I don't really like showing too much of my practice because I don't think it's the most exciting content. But if this is something that interests you, make sure you let me know down below. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. It helps me out tremendously. And if you want to follow along the journey, hit that subscribe button. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll catch you guys next week. And I hope you guys are enjoying the masters. Take care.